Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to export data as PDF in Excel using VBA macros. And for that I have here an example with some data and inventory data for beverages. There are a lot of uh, lines of, co of data here. We can export all of that. We can export only a range. We can export another sheet or we can export the whole workbook. I'm going to show you how to do that here. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. And we will have a macro here called export as PDF. And as I said, we can target a range, we can target a sheet or the entire workbook. So let's start saying I'm gonna only, um, I want to only export this data here from B2 through E20, for example. So we would then target that range B2 E20 or the selection and then use the export as fixed format method, this one here. Now you see this accepts a number of parameters. I'm going to move to the next line to go through each of the parameters. The first parameter is the type and the type can be PDF or XPS, so we want to export as PDF, right? Now the next parameter is the file name. This is very important. This is the name of the file. This is the name of the PDF file, the file name. And I'm going to call it data.pdf, for example. And this is going to save that to the default folder. I'll, I'll get back to that in a moment. Then there are a few other parameters that we may want. I don't know, for example, the quality. We could set that to simply Excel quality standard. And and yeah, there are a few other. I think an interesting one is open after publish, so we can see the file. And this is true. OK. Now, if I run, you see we've got a PDF with the range that we selected here. And if you see here, this is saved to the default folder. We can check what is the default folder simply with, let's put it in the message box, application, default, file path. And it is users administrator documents. Now, if we want to save our PDF in another place, we can we can simply put it here. So let me uncomment this again. And I could let's say I want to save it in in this particular folder, administrator documents 2024 Excel class, and I want to save it here. So we can just put it here, or we can put it in a variable as well, so it's maybe cleaner. Let's call the variable P PDF um, path. And then up here, we don't need this anymore. We can have our PDF path as this path and file name. So this, if, we, if I run this, it would save it now. It would do the same. It would save it in, in this particular uh, folder. Now we can also just replace this with whatever we want to export. Let's say we want to export the whole um, sheet. For example, let's say we want to export this one, this summary sheet. This is a, just a pivot of the, of the products. We would then say, well, this is exactly in sheet two, or we could say sheets summary as well and run it and now we have a PDF with this summary uh, table or we can also export the entire workbook if we export the entire workbook it will export first this sheet which has a lot of lines and then the summary table at the end. So we would do that just replacing this with 
active workbook or this workbook if you if you want uh, or specify the workbook name and notice that I know this will fit in a page you see this these dash lines here on the right side you can see that if you go to file print um, you see that it, it's going to fit in one page. So if I run now the, the macro, it's going to replace the... It takes a while because there are several pages. And then it puts everything in a PDF. And it fits. Uh, because I checked that before. And here's my PDF with all the data in the Excel file. And this is in, in the first sheet. And this is the second sheet. So that's how we export data as PDF in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.